Want healthier, stronger, shinier hair? Tired of products that don't work for coily or kinky hair? Meet 12 Tribes, the vegan hair care line designed for you. Our products are made with love for your gorgeous coils. We offer hair growth butters, oils, shampoos, and hairsprays. These products help your hair grow long, thick, and shiny. Imagine a hair care line that's 100% vegan and perfect for coily hair. No more guessing if it's really going to work for you. Our butters are rich and nourishing, feeding every strand. Our oils are lightweight but powerful, sealing in moisture without greasy residue. Shampoos and butters leave your hair clean and soft, never stripped. What sets us apart? Our dedication to your hair's needs. No harsh chemicals, just effective, natural ingredients. And the results speak for themselves. Start your journey to healthier, shinier hair today. Visit our Etsy shop, Lisa Crafts. Click the link in the description below. Give your hair the care it deserves. Join our satisfied customers and see the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsey Graham was on Meet the Press and he said, Donald Trump may not win this election at all. This is what he's saying. And I mean, is he off the mark on this one? I don't think he is, y'all. And it's not because Donald Trump can't win the race. He most certainly can. The problem I have with Donald Trump, I can't even watch his rallies. He just, he rants and raves too much on the stage. And he talks very little about any policies at all. It's always this person is stupid. This person is dumb. I look better than Kamala. It's, it's a bunch of superficial things and not enough politics, not enough policy. And I saw how empty his last rally was. It was a lot of empty seats, a lot. So Lindsey Graham was on NBC Meet the Press on Sunday, you know, and they were, of course, discussing uh, Donald Trump. And he said he may not win this election. So we know Lindsey Graham is from South Carolina. He's a Republican. And he told Christian Welker whether Donald Trump should continue personally attacking his opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, on the campaign trail. President Trump can win this election. His policies are good for America. And if you have a policy debate for president, he wins. Donald Trump, you know, on the path that he's on, I can see how he would lose. I, I can see how he would lose. Seriously, y'all. Well, he goes on to say, I'm looking for President Trump to show up in at least 80 days to define what he will do for the country, to fix broken borders, to lower inflation, Graham said. Yeah, but that's not what he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. It, like I said, everything that he's ranting about are a bunch of superficial things. And it's not the policies. It's almost like this man will rant for a whole hour and not mention a single policy. He referred to fellow Republicans like former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin. Me and Nikki need to go to Georgia, Graham said, adding, we're giving advice on TV to President Trump. He's got a lot of critics. He's got a lot of advisors. But to Nikki Haley and DeSantis and Youngkin and all of these great people we have, let's get together and actually campaign for the guy. Earlier this week, Haley blasted Trump's personal attacks on Harris telling Fox News the campaign is not going to win, talking about crowd sizes. 
it's not going to win talking about what race Kamala is. Look, this is a winnable election, but you need to focus. So she's pretty much saying the same thing that I'm saying. So that was from Nikki Haley. And I happen in this instance, I happen to agree with her. Still on Thursday, Trump doubled down, telling reporters at the press conference, which was billed to focus on inflation and the economy, that I think I'm entitled to personal attacks. This is what Donald Trump said. And then he goes on. Now, remember, this is supposed to be about inflation and the economy at this press conference. So he goes on to say, I don't have a lot of respect for Harris intelligence. I think she'll be a terrible president. And I think it's very important that we win. And whether the personal attacks are good, bad, I mean, she certainly attacks me personally, the former president added. Graham on Sunday pointed out that he believes Harris policy positions are liable for her and a nightmare for her vice president to defend. Right. Now, it'd be nice if Donald Trump spoke on that, on why he think her policies would fail. But all of these personal attacks and the last one I saw in the media, Donald Trump claimed he looks better. He's better looking than Kamala Harris. I, I just think, you know... Donald Trump needs to go in a different lane. He's definitely in the wrong one. So every day we're not talking about her policy choices as vice president and what she would do as president is a good day for her and a bad day for us. This is what Lindsey Graham said. So they're pretty much saying a lot of the things that I'm saying. You know, Trump is just doubling down on all these personal attacks, and he's not talking about a single policy. I would rather for him just to be on the campaign trail repeating what he's going to do with immigration. He's not even doing that. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, neither one of them are going to do anything for us. We already know that. And Trump sure don't have no agenda for the Black community, but he wants that Black vote. And same thing with with Kamala. You know, she doesn't have no agenda for the Black community, but she wants that Black vote. So, y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. But in this instance, I do agree with Lindsey Graham and Nikki Haley on this one. Trump needs to focus. I mean... If you listen to his rallies, I doubt if many people can get through it. It's that bad. His rallies are really terrible. They are. They're terrible. They're terrible. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Family.